On October 22, Tasneen News reported that Iranian military specialists have successfully modified a domestically produced surface-to-air missile for compatibility with the Karar jet-powered drone. Brigadier General Ali Reza Sabahafard, commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force, announced on Sunday that the Karar drone is now equipped with a heat-seeking air-to-air missile that has a reach of 8 kilometers. The development comes after 18 months of rigorous research and testing, during which the air defense team altered the AD-08 Majid surface-to-air missile. The missile's warhead is now capable of neutralizing a variety of aerial threats. Previously, the Kara drone had been utilized for radar and radio alerts against foreign aircraft nearing Iranian airspace or coastal waters. The drone is part of Iran's new generation of aerial technology, specifically designed for high-altitude interception tasks, thus expanding the scope of the country's air defense operations. The Kara drone, unveiled in 2010, was developed during President Ahmadinejad's tenure and is a reverse-engineered model based on the American Beechcraft MQM-107 Streaker, a 1970s-era target drone, David Israel comments in Jewish press. In 2021, the Kara drones were fitted with Shahabi Saqib missiles aimed at aerial targets. The drone was initially revealed on August 23, 2010, a day following the inauguration of a nuclear reactor in Boucher. It was branded as Iran's first long-range unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, capable of bombing operations. Reports indicate that the Karar has been exported to Hezbollah as early as 2014. This is one reason among many why Israel has been carrying out airstrikes in Syria, to target Hezbollah's stockpiles including the Karar drone. Bloomberg reported in November 2020 that Iran had begun arming the Karar drones with warheads. Though the weapon may have limitations, its potential effectiveness cannot be underestimated, especially if it manages to hover over civilian areas deep within Israel.